Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking and Caking. I'm John, and today we're doing breakfast edition. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna make some pancakes, very simple, and everybody likes pancakes differently, so I'm just gonna go over some basics and some tips. So first thing, <clears throat> after you make your bit, your mix according to any cooking instructions that the box may say, um, just keep in mind you can make it thicker if you add less water, or you can make it thinner if you add more water. And uh, here's the first tip. The tip, first tip is don't over mix it. <clears throat> you just wanna get rid of the large lumps using either a whisk or a spoon, because if you mix it too much, then they won't be as fluffy. So the, the tip is you don't wanna stir it too much. You wanna leave the small lumps in, but you wanna just get rid of the big lumps. The small lumps will cook out. But if you uh, mix it too much, then your pancakes won't be as fluffy. So in my mix, I have uh, pancake mix in water. It's the one with just add water. And I added um, a little bit of brown sugar, a couple teaspoons, tablespoons, and uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. This is also a good time to mix in pecans or chocolate chips. One of the most important things is getting the right temperature. Sometimes you cook it too high and it'll burn it real fast and the insides won't be cooked. So you want to slowly increase the temperature and you know it's ready when you take some water and throw it on the griddle. And it'll like kind of slowly dance around. So it's a little high. I'll turn it down some. There we go. It's dancing. Okay. So. Go ahead and add some uh, butter. I added some chocolate chips in here, so it gets brown. Uh, the hard part is getting the chocolate chips out. Cool. If, if the temperature is right, not too high, then it should take about a minute to a minute and a half to cook on each side. And you only want to cook, you only want to flip it one time. Otherwise, a lot of flipping will cause it to be too tough. So what we're looking for is just for the bubbles to stop, uh, stop popping and disappear. And then the edges of the pancakes will be a little uh, crisp. All right, so you can see that the edges are crispy. They've stopped bubbling. So now it's time to flip. Again, I added chocolate chip to this batch. So if you see any little <laughs> dark things, that's the chips. As you can see, pancakes don't always come out perfectly round. This one's, you know, a slight, a slight heart shape. This one's for strong, see? Oh, I love you. All right, that's pretty much it, y'all. All done. If you guys have any uh, videos that you would like to see, please uh, submit a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining us with Kicking and Cooking. Enjoy.